Welcome to the glamorous world of life on the road. What most people don't know is that the Nitro Circus family is literally a traveling circus. Land in one area, travel by bus, usually from city to city, night after night. Oftentimes we have less than 24 hours in between performances, which means that you know the athletes, the track crew, the staff only has enough time to sleep on the buses in between shows. Our schedules are just crazy tight and there's literally no room for error. Sometimes things happen on the road. In this case, our bus broke down. Another huge issue is that Rona invited me to do this once in a lifetime base jump at Switzerland's iconic Lada Bruden Valley way back when we first met base jump and dirt bikes in the Grand Canyon in 2007. Something has always gotten in the way of making that jump happen. And this time, I'm not gonna let it. Now we're at the border of Austria and Germany. Broken, but like fully broken. The transmission's done. Like he can't shift up at all to get going. So what we need to do is the other track crew buses and the production bus have just stopped to help us. They're gonna help us figure out how to rent a car and get us to a rental car company so we can still try to get you to that cliff. Because that's my whole goal is before the sun goes down tonight, you will jump off something. I don't think this kid's gonna do it. That's all he wants to do is go base jumping. Base jumping. Uh, before we left early. We'll get you there. I appreciate the track crew stopping though, because the, the other rider just went on. Oh, the car right? Yeah, they, yeah. Hey, yeah. Give us the fingers, they went by. You know, you know who your roadmates are. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> not so, can we steal your bus? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not that good, mates. <laughs> According to my watch, Rohner is probably meeting up with our Swiss base chef and buddies, Chris Dukes McDougal and his wife Jenny, right now. Dukes is a base jumping world champion with more than 3,000 base jumps in 40 countries. He's a legend. You busted though. Yeah, yeah, we're good to go. Yeah. Still play? Absolutely, still play. It's good. Let's catch this great. One thing I know is that Eric isn't gonna wait for me when it comes to the ultimate base jump. I just hope we make it in time. Hey, good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, back in the valley. Yeah. You guys are the most beautiful place on Earth. It's Disneyland, though. That's awesome. Yeah. Every day is perfect. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Trav was supposed to be here with us, but uh, their bus broke down, so he's not here. I swear, since the day I met him, I've tried to get him to the valley. Look at that, eh? Good, love it. I'll tell you what. Let's see how me and Jenny go and get this fella up. Yeah. I'm good. here. He's probably going to make it this afternoon, but I'm definitely not waiting for him, so let's go. Yeah, let's get job. Let's <laughs>
<laughs> it's just you. Should we make wish? Yeah, sure. What's this one for? My wish will be that you come to KTM with me tomorrow oh, to ride your bike. Get it back. <laughs> you can't get it back. Why'd you trickery? We are here in the home of KTM. And they say that they have a special surprise for us. So I would really like to go and see the production line at KTM. It's really cool. You get to see dirt bikes being made. All we're going to do is save And then tour. there's a special surprise after that. You know what happened last time I rode at KTM. I know. You almost died. I'll go with you, but this one better actually work. So this is for staying safe tomorrow. <laughs> OK. Oh, Yay! hate you. That's where he jumped from, that where the cloud is just in the sky there. That's nuts. Latterud in Switzerland is such an iconic place for any base jumpers. Gigantic rock faces, big mountain peaks, 70 something waterfalls. And I know Roner, he's not gonna wait for me. Dukes, yeah, nerves are flying. Oh, yeah, just bring it on. Four, three, two, one, later. Kurt Nickel, who is our vice president of live touring here at Nitro Circus, may be working a day job now, but in a prior life, he was a motocross legend and ultimately ended up being the global director of racing for KTM. Kurt's pulled a few strings with KTM and organized a little enduro event for Jolene and Tommy. I sent Tommy and Joe over to the KTM factory in Austria. It's just outside of Salzburg. They've been making motorcycles over there since 1954. Won like 180 world titles. I mean, they are the leaders in dirt bike production nowadays. Hey, Jen. Hey, hey, nice again. This is Tommy. Hey, hey. hello. Tommy. Nice, nice to meet you, Jolene. Thanks well, so much for having us. Welcome to KTM. Yeah, yes, we're stoked. Rad. We've never seen a dirt bike production line before, so we're pretty excited to check it out. Should we go and see the facilities then? Hell yeah. yeah. You know, there's a lot of people that don't get to see what's behind these doors. Right. So normally no cameras, but we're lucky oh. today. Obviously the cool thing about this is you can see the bike starting its life here just as a frame. And then as you kind of go and look down the line, you'll see like the completed bike at the end. It takes about, oh, cool. about an hour from start to finish. So these are the 2016. These are the 16 models, yeah. So in one day of production, how many bikes would come off the line? Roughly about 450 for all the lines. <laughs> Done. The finished product, tested. And some kid is gonna be happy as heck to be riding that. I'd be pretty stuck to get that bike. Right? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love the VIP tour treatment, but I have a sneaking suspicion that we're gonna be doing a little bit more than a tour today. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little, very yeah, fast really cool. tour of production. I'm gonna hand you over to Tanya now. She's gonna take you over to motorsports, and uh, Johnny Walker's waiting there for you. Like so, scotch? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, Johnny's uh, one of our extreme enduro guys. He's, he's awesome. So 
You're gonna have a great time with him. We've got some surprises for you. Here we go with all this surprise talk again. I've been part of Nitro Circus for the last 13 years. It's taught me to hate surprises. I think we're gonna go ride some Enduro, Tommy. It's not very surprise anymore. I feel like I know what's happening. I don't <laughs> like it. I think the first and only time that Tommy rode Enduro on a motorcycle was in 2006 when he did a seven day race in the Carpathian Mountains in Romania. Let's just say Tommy made it one day of the seven. I can't. <laughs> what, was, was that a word that you were trying to get out? Hey, what, what do you think of Enduro racing, Dumpy? It's hard. I think people are dumb for doing it. Because this is stupid. <laughs> hey, Tom, Tommy, what day is this in this uh, six day Enduro? It's about three quarter. <laughs> three quarter? <laughs> no, no, what day? <laughs> Yeah, three quarter of the first day. Oh, okay. I know Tommy doesn't want to ride enduro, but he needs to get over it. We're at KTM, and they make some of the best bikes in the world, so we're going to ride. OK, let's head over to, to Motorsports then. <laughs> Finally caught up with Roner and Dukes. So ready to do this once in a lifetime jump. It's gonna be amazing. He did text me like 30 minutes ago. Said he'd be here in 15 minutes. So I don't know. You don't know. Like he could have got sidetracked. You never know with Travis. Yeah. yeah. But he can't surprise you. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> hey, yeah. Let's go. You made it. Let's do this. I'm here. You made it. Dude, we rented a Mini Cooper. I left the family at the train station at the bottom of the hill. How's it going? <laughs> Dukes, Trav, Trav, Dukes. Epic. <laughs> Why do all of our guides have a crutch? It's just cat? like you and me. <laughs> so, are we jumping? Travis, I'm speechless right now. How about this place? Oh, it's amazing. Where's the parachute? Let's do this. <laughs> can we make it in the race? I think we can. It's it's decent it's enough. It's good enough. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's go get together. Do, I love you guys. Oh, buddy. Oh, I'm so stoked you're here. Oh, dude. Sick, right? Really awesome. good to see Brilliant. you. This is going to awesome. be awesome. All right, let's go. Cool. You'll be hobbling. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it. The path going up is narrow, to say the least. I mean, one wrong footstep and we're over the cliff. Not to mention the slippery waterfall crossings. And the only thing we have to hang on to are these tiny little ropes that line the trails. It's not exactly safety first, but it's pretty darn awesome. You take me to a lot of awesome places there, Roner. The first one, I couldn't feel my fingers. It's so cold here. <laughs> Thought I was gonna die on the climb up there. Coldest I've ever been in my entire life. Icy cool. takeoff. Travis and Eric were able to do an epic base jump in Norway in 2014. Three, two, one. but they've always wanted to jump here in Switzerland in the Lauterbrunnen Valley. I guess they can finally check that sucker off their list. This is the place to jump. This is something I've seen all the time, and it's starting to rain. So it's raining a bit, which is not ideal flying weather, but it's perfect for a smaller jump. You know, a few flips. I say it's flippy doodle time. That's what's beautiful about this place. Even when it's raining and weather's bad, you can still get a jump off. Nice. Um, so flippy doodle jump here. Yeah, but you gotta keep it a little under control because these cliffs are a little different than flippy doodle cliffs. Yes, you can flip off this. This is the one cliff you can flip off, but you still gotta do a little tracking. So flip track, flip, flip track. track. So it's not like a flippy doodle, it's like a flip track. Flip track. Get <laughs> that in your head. Eric Rohner, he's not gonna let me get away with just flipping. He wants me to fly. Flipping is falling with style, and flying is what real base jumpers do. But you need a dry and clear day for that kind of stuff. So Roner's decided to teach me how to fly tomorrow. Today, I'll do what I do best, fall with style. There's trees you have to clear, there's a wall behind you, and that talus comes quickly. So have fun, but use your head. Two flippy doodles? Two flippy doodles, you're fine. All right, two flippy doodles. You're fine, buddy. The scene of Travis at the top of that cliff was something to behold. Eric is trying to walk him through execution and safety points and responsibility. And Travis is like a Labrador puppy, like, can we go yet? Can you count down? Can I chase the ball off the cliff? If I fell off, like, so be it, but, yep. oh, it's scary. 
Anyone that says they're not afraid of heights is lying. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So these are the new electric bikes. Street bike time, not e-bike Tommy. Five, four, three, two. Thank you, mate. Oh, so, that was so good. What a Dude, way to start, start the morning. Out. Breakfast. <laughs> oh, breakfast of champions. You did good. You did way better, I thought. I, I still <laughs> play all day. That's not saying much. I was oh. like, oh, no, that was perfect. I, yeah, went over. It was good. I just hung out there with you for a while and then yeah. did what the suit's meant to do. I was like, got away. I was going to do another flip, but I was just like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the ground gets big quick. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I definitely abused a lot of oxygen, but yeah. man. Nice. Pleasure, man. It was super fun, eh? Awesome. <laughs> Why is it always so cool? And now we're safe, we just have to worry about Rona. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah Ron! Hey, come out. There's some guests. <laughs> you don't Hello. believe, but it, that's Johnny Walker. I'm Johnny, Hi, nice, Johnny. To meet you. nice to meet hey. you. Johnny, and who yeah. happens to be here? Only the KTM factory racing team champion, Johnny Walker. They want me to ride in Dura with this guy? You got a baby track or something? Yeah. Little... Yeah, we found some really good quarry for you. All right. Yeah. I've heard that before. So. <laughs> <laughs> Please excuse my skepticism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we always end up hurting Tommy in some way, shape, or form. Good luck, Tommy. Appreciate it. How you feeling, Tommy? Don't worry, we will take care of it. We'll okay. Safe. It's okay, I believe you. Let's pad up. <laughs> yeah, let's go get geared up then. Yeah. Ready, Tommy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so these are the new electric bikes. He loves it, look at it. Is it good? Yeah. Feel good? Yeah. We, we haven't got a clutch, so you can't shift gears or hook or anything like that. You just pin it. No, 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 no. No, street bike time, not e-bike, Tommy. So, Tommy, these don't make their own noise, so what kind of noises are you going to make? Start it up for us. Let's see what these babies sound like or don't sound like. I've never ridden an e-bike before, so I was super excited to find out how they moved, what they were like. I didn't even know how to start the thing. Go. It's kind of vibrating. It's on? Go. It's yeah. kind of vibrating. Oh, shit. I haven't ridden enduro cross in two years now, so I was super nervous that I was going to go up there and embarrass myself and not be able to keep up with Johnny or look like a fool trying to say, yeah, I used to ride enduro cross. <laughs> There goes Joe, showing off again. She's riding up a gravel hill. Who can't do that? You can do it, Tommy. <laughs> no, dude. You can curse at me all the way up the hill, too, if it makes you feel better. I don't want to. Of course I can ride up a gravel hill. Just don't feel like it. It's really mellow, actually. Nope. Yeah, it looks worse. All right. You want to sit on the back and we'll do it together? Uh-uh. <laughs> you just have to go in with momentum and lean forward. This is the easiest thing out here. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. Everything else is going to hurt a hell of a lot more. It'd be way harder. I thought you were so cool. Where are you going to again? A huge part of riding enduro is being able to maneuver through the obstacles that are in your path. It takes a massive amount of skill and a lot of patience. I'm a little rusty right now, but I'm always up for a challenge. 
Yes. Yeah, Joe. Let's not forget that Jolene is a bad motor scooter when it comes to dirt bikes. She was the Canadian National Motocross Champion. She was the first woman on the planet to backflip a dirt bike. She knows how to ride a little tank. Oh, you're going to dent the oil tank. Joe is determined. She's the most stubborn girl I've ever met in my life. <laughs> when she gets her mind set to something, she's either going to do it or she's gonna keep going until something breaks and it's not possible for her equipment to continue because she will push herself past the point of pain or anything else. She's got it, look at that. Obstacle achieved. Might not be talented, but I'm strong. Stubborn. <laughs> Stubborn. <laughs> strong. Enduro is not my idea of a rad time, but Joe and Johnny are killing it. Joe's holding her own against Johnny who's an Enduro World Champion. Seriously impressed right now. agreed to do the boulders. It seemed to be my most mellow choice of the day. Ah! Oh. ah, my leg is burning on the pipe. My leg is burning, burning on the pipe. I'm totally kidding. It's electric. <laughs> Actually, easier if you sit on the bike. It's easier if you shift your face. See, I did it. I totally made it over. Tommy conquered the boulders today. Well, kind of. I wouldn't say he's going to be an enduro cross champion anytime soon, but I loved him, and he did the best that he could. I did it. I'm done. That's a wrap on enduro. I'd say I'd miss it, but I'd be lying. My enduro days are behind me. Bikes brand new off the line. We destroyed them in two seconds. Like, three. Maybe. We're not in France, so you don't have to say we. I broke mine, OK? So. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. I enjoyed it. Five, four, three, two. Awesome, <laughs> Good job, fellas. Oh, Roner is so in his element. I mean, that guy was born to fly. And there is nothing better than being in the moment with your buddies and getting to share these amazing experiences. Doing your spin, spinning back towards the <laughs> cliff. I'm like, here we go. I wonder how that's going to work out. <laughs> Fortunately, it looked good. It looked good. Yeah. Cool, right? huh? it, it, I told you, sometimes he'll go off. It'll yeah. make it look like a professional. Other times, Other like, times it looks like that. I did the same, I did a single gainer, like over rotated. It was like, there we go. Okay. You wanted your flippy doodle, so you got him in. But tomorrow, we learn to fly. Okay. Deal. Thanks, boys. Awesome. Thank you. Happy days. Appreciate you. No worries. So we're out here in the Swiss Alps. We're going to learn to yodel today. So we're out here in the Swiss Alps. We're gonna learn to yodel today. And I couldn't think of a better place to do it than Lauterbrunnen. We've got the beautiful mountaintops, the canyon walls, and we have a couple experts. I think things are gonna get pretty interesting today. Tommy, I think this is what we've been looking for. Hello. <laughs> How you nice doing? to meet you. Hello. Tommy. Hello. Tommy. Nice. Hello. Nice to meet you. Tommy, nice William, to meet you. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Nice. Nice to you. That was impressive. I feel, I feel like there's like a, a nitro circus joke going on because I feel like I died in a stunt because <laughs> given our surroundings and your voice is like an angel, I feel like I've gone to nitro heaven. I don't know what's happening. It's called Switzerland. We get sent here. Switzerland? This is not, this isn't Austria? 
Not surprisingly, Tommy doesn't even have a clue what country you're in right now. I'm a little worried about how today is going to go. Close enough. <laughs> this is Switzerland and this yeah. is Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, Switzerland. We messed up. But it, 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 your yodeling, it's the same. Austria, Switzerland, it's the same thing, right? So you want a little bit um, try the yodel? Yeah, yeah, I think, Tommy, yeah, I think we got to give this a I'm, shot. I'm, I'm feeling very inspired and I need to pitch some voice that away. Starting the voice, like an exercise voice, it's a ma 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 so, Tommy, you want to warm up or should we just get straight into this? Let's warm it. Voice. The voice starts here. Oh, this is the breast. Yo. And then come up. Oh. It's octave. Jump. <laughs> you got that, Tommy? Oh. <laughs> so, you can see, you have a high voice and he has a deeper voice. So he can yeah. sing the second yeah. voice. Hey, you know what it deeper. is. All right, yeah. you got to learn, right. you gotta yeah, learn yeah, his. Well, it's my guy. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, hello. Yeah. Yo, yo, hello. Yo, hello. Okay. Dude, that, you I got it. I think that was bad. Dude, <laughs> just, was bad. just put a little country twang on it. You got this, Tommy. Yo, hello. <laughs> the hike up this morning, well, it didn't get any easier, but it sure is beautiful out here. The closer you go to the top, the more dangerous they are, but next time I think we'll just start there. <laughs> well, he doesn't like that hike, huh? Yeah. Something else, right? How are there so many waterfalls? Just... You haven't done a lot of jumps in your tracking suit, so might as well try it and start working on flying. Zero. Exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, if you bring them back, that will stabilize you. Okay, but you're not gonna have the forward movement you have. Like, that's like max performance in a steep angle. How many seconds of impact if you, if you don't jump out? Eight seconds rock drop. We're hoping to get how many seconds? You should get over 10. All right. And have fun. Don't worry about the wall. Right. And you're freaking nuts, dude. Put a base rig on. I got the rope. We're good. With two fingers. <laughs> Rubs, you brought me some pretty epic places, but it's about doggone time you brought me here. It is, man. I, I'm not kidding. I've, I tried so hard to get you here. It brings me so much joy to I mean, even though you're getting a tiny glimpse of it in this short period of time, at least you see the potential here and what it has to offer. We're on tour so much, like, we get to do this stuff periodically, but like you said, it's just, yeah. it's repetition. With, with anything you want to get really good at. It's sea you know, time. The problem is, I always said base jumping, you didn't have to be good at it to, to have a lot of fun. But looking at all these lines around here, oh, it's a full skill now, and you're everyone's a pilot. Like whether you're a wingsuit, whether you're in these tracking suits, it's a, it's an art form. Like how you fly, and everybody's is different, so it's different body positions for each each person, different suits. So it's endless. So you need you need time. Base jumping requires a lot of practice and a lot of planning. It's the only way you get better. But today, we'll have to do it nitro circus style. Just go for it. You and I come out here and do it like yahoos. Woohoo! <laughs> this is awesome! But we're doing it. Wait, how did you fly over there? Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, right. you're like, we're doing it, and then you see some guy exactly fly like, you're like twice. Oh. You're like, oh, he's doing it. <laughs> we're not. All right, let's get suited up. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, how do these things work? Straps around you. Flying 101 by Eric Rohner. You know, the details of like pointing your toes. All that stuff, because you're supposed to point your toes. This opportunity to learn how to fly a tracking suit is awesome. It has so much more power, and I can go so much faster. If I want to go away from the cliff, I can do it. If I want to turn towards the cliff and outline the cliff, it'll give me a little extra speed that I need to possibly get over these trees. But also, it could put me in a bad position really quick. So I have to be careful, but I'm really excited about learning how to fly. These, these pants inflate, which slows you down. But if you get into a steeper position, it allows you to drive forward. That's the whole concept behind it. No matter how many times you do it, it's always scary. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. If you're not scared, you shouldn't be up here. Like Dukes keeps saying, it ain't table tennis. It ain't table tennis. It's not. The table tennis can get boring. 
This is not boring. There goes a rock. It's not a 10 second rock drop. What's the best way to kind of go? Just belly and then just slowly yeah, like start I look to... to look at the other side of the valley almost, like keep your chin up kind of. Yep. Typical for me, I got all suited up and realized I forgot my goggles and my helmet. <laughs> you guys ready? Yep. It's about that time, a wing and a prayer. Let's do this. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, see ya. What an experience. I mean, I can finally say that Rona and I have made our base jumping dreams come true. No one I'd rather share this with. Next time, safety first. I'll try to remember my goggles and helmet. Well, it was a pleasure to bring you here. It was a pleasure to show this to you. Let's move on to our next, our next country. Next country. Let's go catch up with the rest of the bus, see how, what kind of progress they've made, and explain the fun we had. Yodeling was a great success. Time to bring on the outpoint. Tommy, they gave us all the practice we're going to get. Show us a song and we'll try to not ruin it for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't make any promises. Yeah. Yola, 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 yola. OK, I've stopped yola. together. Turns out Tommy's a great yodeler. I never would have guessed it, but that's Tommy for you. He's full of surprises. Dude, you, it comes from the heart, Tommy. Look where you're at. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Yodeling was a great success. Time to bring on the Alporn. If you're never playing an instrument in your life, three minutes on an Alphorn sounds pretty good. Hey, yeah. the one thing that everybody knows about me at Nitro Circus is that I really blow at everything. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that. Heard that. <laughs> I think, Tommy, let's leave the Alphorn to you. I think, I think we've you. all you found our outside, talents. Man. Oh, it's okay. Oh. Oh. I think we all found our talents. <clears throat> Tommy, I think you're an Alphorn player. We should just have a, uh, a jam session. You want to? Let's just have a jam session. Can we, can we jam?
I like yodeling. This whole Nitro Circus thing doesn't work out. I'm moving to Switzerland and I'm going to become a yodeler. William, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Sammy, thank you, thank you, you so thank much. You it was much, a too. pleasure. We're going to go find Tommy and Alporn and get on the road. Yeah. I'm staying. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm staying. You yodeling. This Geneva Switzerland show is rocking. One of our biggest Moto Mayhem shows yet. We made it to the end of tour, and we could not be more excited than to wrap it up here in Switzerland. This show is looking to be one of our biggest crowds, close to 25,000 fans. It's gonna be epic. All right, guys, it's gonna be a big show. Biggest show so far on this Moto Mayhem tour. Hey, have a hell of a show, guys. Let's bring it in, and uh, we're all going to Switzerland on three. Yeah! Same Mary on three. One, two, three. We're We finally made it to Switzerland. Make some noise. It's got to get rowdy tonight. This Geneva Switzerland show is rocking. I mean, one of our biggest Moto Mayhem shows yet. The crowd is definitely one of the loudest. Their excitement is definite. And all the Nitro guys, we're stoked to perform. Tonight's Nitro Circus show was a huge hit here in Geneva, Switzerland. The turnout was amazing. The crowd, beyond exciting. And you know what? That's all we can ask for. We've had a stellar show, and phenomenal tour for that matter. First season of Crazy Train was absolutely incredible. Our job truly is unrivaled among anybody else in the world. We get to travel the world with our best friends, 50, 60 people. I got talked into jumping on a crocodile. It was a sumo in Japan. I finally got to jump out of a real airplane not just indoor skydiving, but some of my best friends in the entire world. Bucket list stuff this entire time. It's been one hell of a ride. I got to hold a baby lion. I got kissed by a tiger. I got to dart a rhino. But one other thing I have to just rub in a little here was the amazing driving that I did in Finland in the cross carts. Kicking Tom's back. Believe in him. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah
I got the opportunity to help Travis accomplish one of his biggest goals, and that was making action figures a movie. I got to bring pit bikes back into the live show. That was amazing. He just landed that like effortlessly. I got to front flip a motorcycle. One of the standout moments for me would have to be riding bikes in Soweto with the little kids because they've never seen anything like that before. To see the smiles on their faces, it's priceless. Right, this season of Crazy Train, it's been way sicker than I expected. We've done so much cool stuff. Come here. There we go. What was the time? Bilko, first lap of 53.7 with a flying spinning finish. Not bad. Best highlight would have to be the rally car. Get in there and crash and Travis X Games car till it uh, caught fire. This season of Crazy Train has been unreal. I found out that I'm a geisha. I'm a Mad Max warrior. I'm also a ninja with a really good hairline. We had the privilege of visiting Japan. We played down under. <laughs> Hit up the US. <laughs> Roamed all over South Africa. <laughs> oh my god. We should right. go down the Dragana ramp like this. <laughs> <laughs> and cruise through Europe. I'm on fire! It's been one hell of a ride, and we can't wait to catch the next crazy train. Hope to see you there.